The third type, I know this is getting exciting, is called the flow battery or called fuel cells. So this is the next category. There's primary cell, secondary cell, and fuel cell or flow battery. Um, and there's a couple different kinds. Uh, but the first one specifically is the fuel cell. There's different kinds, and you'll see as we get to the next one. The fuel cell, let me write this one out first. Anode and the cathode. Okay, so here's the anode, uh, H2 plus 2OH minus goes to 2, oh, that's messy, 2H2O, 2H2O plus 2 electrons, and for the cathode, O2 plus 2 waters goes, oh, and I forgot, plus 4 electrons, goes to uh, 4 hydroxides. And for this one, I'll write the overall reaction down as well. It's just two water, two hydrogens plus oxygen goes to water. So the top reaction has to be multiplied by two in order to add this up. E cell for this is about 1.2 volts. Okay, let me say a little bit about this one uh, before we go on. So this is essentially a fuel source plus oxygen goes to product. So it's kind of like a combustion reaction. Uh, I'm going to talk about this when we get later into main group metals. But this is essentially also the reaction that they use for rocket fuel to get the rocket up into the air. Um, for like the Apollo. But it's fuel cell, it's battery if you want. Uh, for the Apollo is about 500 pounds, so it's it's a lot bigger than uh, some of your other batteries. Uh, some of power plants in New York City and Tokyo use fuel cells, um, and they're they're nice because they're really efficient. So where most say generators are about 40, 50 percent efficiency, these are about 80 to 90 or 100 near 100 percent efficiency. And you have nicely a water byproduct, so it's really disposable, it's easy, very environmentally sound if you want. Um, it's not totally a battery because it has input and output. So it's not like a batch reactor, there's flow to it, that's called flow battery. Uh, and this one has platinum as a catalyst. Uh, and that's pretty common. There's various metals they are trying to figure out what's the best catalyst for a fuel cell battery to make it work uh, as best as it possibly can. Okay, and then, I think finally, we're getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. Uh, the, another category of the flow batteries is called the air battery. Kind of going out of style, but I'll say a little bit about it. Uh, anode and the cathode. I won't give you as much information. You can look this up in your text if you want. But essentially, there's aluminum uh, as your anode and oxygen as your cathode. So what this does is it uses oxygen from the air. Uh, what you do is you put water and chunks of aluminum in your battery. And this was thought it could be a car battery. And then there's a precipitate, aluminum precipitate at the end. You just take it out. You're supposed to dump it wherever, give it to the person. They recharge it, and you put new aluminum in your car, and you get on going on. Um, and you would need about six gallons of water for every 250 miles. So there's a nice efficiency. It can be uh, like recharged and such, um, but just didn't get as popular. 